I am Michael Smith, and I am a PhD candidate in the Business Data Science Program at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, NJIT. The title of our paper is A Study of GDPR Compliance Under the Transparency and Consent Framework. My co authors are from NJIT and DeepCIO. To address the GDPR requirements, when a user visits a website, publishers use consent management platforms, CMPs, to collect, store, use, and share their personal data. Within this landscape, the TCF was introduced as a standard for managing user consent. As illustrated here, the user can approve or decline data collection and sharing. User consent is used to determine if personalized ads can be shown in programmatic ad auctions, including real-time bidding. Our approach was to crawl 2,230 websites employing TCF to capture TC strings and cookie data. Our crawler declined consent so we could determine if websites accurately recorded our consent choice. The figure on the left shows the flow diagram of our system, which has three major components. A crawler that visits websites and collects data from the browsers, a TC string handler that parses and decodes the TC strings, and an analyzer that aggregates the data to generate reports. To automate the extraction of TC strings from the crawled data, our system follows the pipeline shown in the figure on the right. First, it parses the data collected by the crawler and extracts the TC strings from both the cookies and HTTP requests. Then, the parser identifies strings with the prefix C, which serves as the initial character of the TC string with TCF version 2.0 or higher. We then decode the TC strings. Our findings reveal a high degree of compliance with TCF guidelines, over 97%. But we also discovered that premium domains, websites, have a higher rate of noncompliance. Furthermore, a substantial portion of compliance sites, 72.8%, leveraged the legitimate interest provision to sidestep explicit consent. Additionally, we observed the setting of tracking cookies on users' browsers for TCF, compliance sites where we decline consent, and no legitimate interest was claimed. The table here shows an overview of our data and provides a breakdown by the different CMPs. Because we simulated a user rejecting consent, a violation occurs whenever legitimate interest is claimed for purpose one or when the TC string states user consent was given. The high rate of TCF compliance is commendable, yet the pervasive use of legitimate interest underscores a need for reform. We open sourced the crawler tools we built and the data we collected. Finally, we advocate for continued development of TCF guidelines. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.